Evening fellow coin collectors, Coin Snatcher here with a quick update on the 50p collection. So got home from work today and found two envelopes waiting on the floor for me. So without further ado, let's rip into these and see what's arrived today. So normally with a wide envelope like this, there's only one company it comes from. And that will be the Pub Joy Mint. And the Pub Joy Mint released a series of coins called Sea Creatures and it's a six coin set I believe. If we open it up, take it out of the packaging, let's pop the invoice over to the side and let's have a look at it. So it's the Sea Creatures, a six coin set. It's a really nice blue folder and inside we have space for the orange anemone, the powder blue tang, the Emperor Anglefish, the Checkerboard Wrasse, the Long Nose Butterfly Fish, and finally the Clown Trigger Fish. So I had to order this separately, and you can see the six little spaces there for the various coins to go in. So normally when Pop Joy released uh, bunk coins, you get them in a little cardboard slip, which is good for presentation. It makes it nice and easy. With this, it's a bit more like their primates or their penguin series, where you collect the coins and then pop them in the folder at the end. So on the back of the folder, you see the specifications of the coin. So it's a standard Cooper nickel diamond finish coin, 8 grams, 27.3 mil, and the issue limit is 2,750. And then at the bottom, you've just got a little certificate of authenticity and a couple of the signatures there from the uh, head honchos at the Pop Joy Mint. So that's the little folder, first of all. Really nice looking folder, nice and bright, nice colours and plenty of little fish on the front there. Really cool. So that's the first envelope. There's nothing else in that. And then the second envelope that arrived, we'll get into this one as well. Let's have a look and see what we got in this. I have to say too, I wasn't expecting these coins to arrive for, well, at least a couple of weeks. I'm sure it said on the website it'd be around the 27th or so that they were going to be dispatched. So, what have we got in here? So for anybody who buys any of the Pub Joy Mint coins, this is their standard little blue velvet bag, drawstring bag. It's quite nice, something a little bit different you get your coin in. I've got quite a collection of these now. And if we pop the coin out, so this coin is the Chagos Anemone, 50 pence. I think it's better known as the Clownfish. And I think there might have been a, a Disney movie, Finding Nemo. I think Nemo was a clownfish. I haven't actually watched it yet, so you'll just have to take my word for it. And what I like about this coin is its colour, but the orange and the yellow, it's really, really bright. So I really like birds. I buy any coin that has a bird on it. But in general, I like wildlife and nature, so having a series of coins with a fish on it is pretty cool. So 50 pence, you can see there's a little bit of weed that the fish is swimming through. And if we pop it round to the other side, so the diamond finish almost gives it like a proof finish and this coin looks really really nice. I'm not too fussed on the uh, effigy that the Pub Joy Mint use but no taking away from the back of that coin it looks really really nice. And this is issued on behalf of the British Indian Ocean Territories. A familiar name for anybody that collects 50p's from the Pub Joy Mint. So that's the bunk coin. Open the folder up and that one will pop in the top there clicks in nice and firm and that's another another collection started so here we go again so that's that and the blue pouch and then finally we've got the most important one so this is the silver proof coin and there's 175 of these released so a really really low mintage and if we open it up quite a nice little red box it comes in a bit of a soft touch to the top of it Open the box up and first of all you have a little certificate of authenticity. So this is to certify that the legal tender 2021 Sea Creatures 50p is an official issue by the British Indian Ocean Territory and is strictly limited as follows. 
proof sterling silver 175. I think these are incredibly low issue limits for a silver proof coin. They did the same issue limit on the HMS series of, co of uh, ships, all the old sailing ships, the uh, tall riggers and that. So they said they were going to release five of them and then yesterday they released a sixth one as well. So these coins I reckon will go up in value over the years because 175 is such a low number that there's going to be people who'll buy one or two and then want to buy the whole set. So definitely one to hold on to, uh, definitely one that's going to go up in value. So let's pop the uh, COA off to the side a minute and let's have a look at the coin. So if we pop the coin out and let's have a look at it. So the same coins, uh, silver proof instead of cupro nickel and you can see the colours on it. So you have the frosted finish on it. The orange looks a bit more orange than the other coin. So if I just get the other coin for comparison and put them beside each other and yeah, definitely the silver proof coin definitely has a darker orange to it. Whereas the brilliant uncirculated coin, it's almost orange. And then the stripes look like they're bluey white. Whereas on the silver proof one, they look considerably wider. And then on the back of the silver proof coin, you've got the same effigy. And again, the British Indian Ocean Territory. So really, really nice coin. First in a series of six. So quite an expensive collection it's going to be somewhere in the region of 420 pounds to do the whole collection but we'll see how that goes anyway so that's the silver proof coin and those are the two latest additions to the 50p collection so i hope you enjoyed that video if you like the coins you like the video leave a like it's important for the way youtube works with its algorithms if you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell so you get all the uh, videos as soon as I release them. Anyway, guys, leave a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Did anybody else get these coins? And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Coin snatcher out.